What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mia. We're back with a a mukbang, a mukbang. Hey, ta happy Taco Tuesday, guys! Happy Taco Tuesday! Every Tuesday, y'all, I make tacos. Okay, so I was like, let me go ahead and make some tacos, do a little mukbang. You feel me? Okay. Y'all, my mouth is literally watering because it's 11:20 p.m. <laughs> And I'm just now eating dinner, and I'm starving like mom. You feel me? Um, so let me go ahead and show this grace real quick, and let's go ahead and dive in. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this food that I have prepared, allowed to nourish my body, protect and watch over the ones out there, and them YouTube streets are just all over this world, dear God. I love you, and I thank you for all you have done, will do, and are doing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, look at me come up with a much better prayer, okay? No more God is great, God is good, which ain't nothing wrong with it, okay? Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Like I said, my mouth is watering. Um, let me tell y'all what I put on my tacos. Drop a comment, let me know what you put on your tacos. So I always make taco salad, okay? I want to bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Mm -hmm. I also got me some lemonade. Mm. Some Simply's lemonade. Y'all know Simply's lemonade be real good, real sweet. Let me write. All right, that's much better. Okay. So, let me tell y'all what I put on my taco salad, okay? I start off with Cool Ranch Doritos. Mm. If you ain't had it, don't knock it till you try it. You feel me? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Then, I got to have my cheese, okay? <laughs> so I add my cheese, and then I put some black beans on it, and some rice, some brown rice, or I like to get that rice with the cilantro, the cilantro in it. That rice is really good too. So some rice, and I always make chicken tacos. And so I just take the little chicken tenderloin, shred it up, or the chicken breast, shred it up. And I cook peppers and onions, like bell peppers, yellow pepper, orange pepper, whatever pepper I got, okay? With the chicken, give it a good flavor. And then I add um, lettuce, pico de gallo. Got to have that pico, okay? Mm. Also, I said lettuce, pico, jalapeno, and then you gotta have all the sauces, okay? So I tap mine off, top mine off with ranch, lots of ranch. What is that sauce called? The baja, baja, boja, baja. I can't even see that part, but B A J A, I think. Some of that, and of course, some salsa. So this is my taco salad. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Like I said, I literally make this every single Tuesday. <laughs> Just be like, what are we eating for dinner? I'm like, do you know what it is? <laughs> It's Taco Tuesday, my nigga. <laughs> For real. He said, Ted said that LeBron James basically made Taco Tuesday hot. But I feel like Taco Tuesday has always been hot, you know? Before LeBron James bring it up, because here in my city, we were certain like bars or whatever. They would have Taco Tuesdays. They been have Taco Tuesdays. You feel me? What were they? 
two dollar, one dollar tacos or something like that. Mmm. Yeah. So, happy Taco Tuesday, guys. Like I said, drop a comment. Let me know what you like on your taco salad. Maybe it's something that you put on your taco salad that I don't put on mine. Yeah, I might like to try. Now, I do also put corn on here from time to time, but not all the time. Mmm. What's everybody been up to this week? It's about to be a busy, busy week. Even though it's just Tuesday, I have my cousin's wedding to go to. That's on Saturday. And then on Friday is the um, the wedding rehearsal. So good thing I got up for work on Friday. So, I'm the maid of honor. And I've been trying to live up to my maid of honor duties, but maid of honor's gotta do a lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure I'm doing everything I need to do, you know, to make sure the bride is happy. My bad, I'm talking with my mouth all open too. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> That's what a mukbang is, is talking with your mouth open, smacking, chewing loud, eating and talking, right? <laughs> yeah, so the wedding is on, like I said, Saturday. So, I've been on it trying to make sure like everybody is still aboard, you know, like hair, nails, all that. Let me tell y'all something. When I tell y'all, if you are part of the wedding crew, made of honor, whatever, you always want to make sure that you are doubling back and around to those people who said that they were going to do your nails, hair, makeup, whatever. Just to make sure they're still aboard. Because if you don't, on wedding day, they don't show up, you're going to be mad, okay? Let me tell you how unprofessional some people can be, you know? Okay, here's the thing. A lot of us have our notifications on when it comes to Facebook, you know? So if you get a message, you know you got a message. Even if it doesn't come through your phone, once you log into Facebook, you see you got some messages, you got, you got some DMs. Most of the time you check them, you feel me? So y'all, so, if girl, this is like a little story time, <laughs> of how people gotta really do better when it comes to business, you feel me? And communication. Communication is key. <laughs> if you ain't know that, now you know, glory, glory. So, this girl I used to go to school with, she used to do my nails too, actually. So I reached out to her, because I'm like, she does pretty good on nails. She does a decent job, you know. Plus, she travels. I'm like, mm, okay. She travels too. So I reached out to her. Let's see if she could do our nails, right? She agreed. Boom, pow, boom. You know? So it was like beginning May when I reached out to her. So then I doubled back June 29th. And I'm like, let me just make sure, you know, she's still good and on the popping with doing our nails. And let me also make sure that she could do it. A day ahead instead of on Friday, can you do it on Thursday? Now, I understand people are busy 
they're all in this level. But when it comes to this type of stuff, you know, business, <laughs> you know, just business. That's when communication should come in. You know what I'm saying? So, I reach out. Well, I guess I reach out. No response. I'm like, okay. So I text her. I'm like, you know what? I'm not even about to DM. I'm gonna just text. Cause I had her phone number. I texted her before, and she didn't respond. So that would let me to go to the DM. So I'm like, text her. I'm like, hey, you know, I was checking to see if you could still do our nails. Blah, they skip. Let her know what date. So I ain't hear no response. All day. But you know how people like, you see them on social media. I'm like, I'm glad you see my text message before you got on Facebook. <laughs> So, I see she logged into Facebook. I mean, yeah, Facebook. I'm like, oh, she on Facebook? I know she sent my message. I said no response. So I was like, well, I guess we're gonna chalk this up. We all, I was so heated. Like, I just wanted to go off, you know? You coming in here? to just try to not interrupt my video, but I'm like, you gonna come in here instead of just standing looking at me? <laughs> he trying to get a review <laughs> on them taco chips. But, um, yeah, so, she um, responds back the next day. <laughs> At that time, I'm like, I'm through. I could care less what you got going on, you feel me? Oh, um, that was so unprofessional. You could have responded back that day. I'm sure we responded back to somebody's text message that day. You feel me? Somebody's. You could have just said that. What you told me the next day. So she's like, No, I'm not gonna be able to do your nails because I work two jobs now. When you start doing that, was this before or after I asked you to do my nails? And either way it was, if that's push come to shove, you feel me? You should have reached out and like, oh, I'm do apologize. I'm not able to do your nails. So if I never reached out and really was like thinking she gonna come through. Could y'all imagine us looking like Boo Boo the Boo on, on wedding day? Mm. Mm -mm. I said, unprofessional. I didn't even respond back to the text because I'm like, I'm giving you the same energy that you gave me. You didn't respond back to my text on yesterday's message. <laughs> There's nothing I got to say, okay? There's nothing I got to say unless you want you, unless I want to let you know what the real is on how I really feel. But. That's how I know God is working with me, okay? <laughs> because the old man. <laughs> I probably would have said something on Facebook, making a post, like a subliminal. <laughs> subliminal. Something. But yeah, so I'm so glad I reached out to make sure. So I told my cousin. And in case y'all don't know, like, why is she saying cousin? It's my cousin, but she's also like my sister, so I call her cousin. Okay, it's cousin. So I'm like, yeah, like, girl. 
your service wasn't that good anyway. <laughs> you feel me? You should have won this money. Mm -hmm. No good. It's all good. Yeah, hey, she's the only nail tech in town. Okay. Yeah. So the wedding is on Wednesday. I mean, on Saturday. I was thinking about taking my girls to the wedding, Ben and Capri. But I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? That might not be a good idea to have Capri at the wedding. Bailey, she cool. But if Capri see me walking down the aisle, she gonna want me. She gonna cry, spaz, all that type of stuff. And I ain't trying to be embarrassed. I ain't want, you know, I just don't want that. I just don't want it. So, I mean, the kids wasn't gonna be in, uh, welcome to the reception anyway. They ain't missing nothing at the wedding, okay? <laughs> So, that's on this week's agenda. Which I got planned this weekend. I can't believe July is almost over with. <laughs> like, we just started July, but it's really almost over with. And then back to school. That's coming up. Like, wow, back to school already. I remember when I was in school, we did not go to school this soon. Like, I guess they're starting back August 10th or something like that. Like, when and where and how? We should go back, like, beginning of September or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It sounded so good. I remember when I was in college. And that was the fun part. Like, you know, going to school early for college because you know you're ready to turn up. Well, not everybody. But I was. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you about my college experience. I got so many college stories. But I'm going to just say this. I turned up so much in school. When I went to college, I don't know if you ever heard it, but Wright State University in Fairborn, Ohio. I went to college there. Y'all, y'all would have just thought I went to school just to kick it and have a place to stay. <laughs> Cause that's literally what I did. Barely went to school. I got a job over at McDonald's. I was flipping fries and burgers, okay? I would be cooking full course meals in my dorm room for my best friends and stuff. I literally thought I was just living up there, okay? Not going to nobody's class. I was always turning up in somebody's club. <laughs> How embarrassing of me. So then that stuff caught up to me, y'all. It caught up to me. I ended up, I said, so I finished up my freshman year, barely. Actually, no, I really didn't finish my freshman year. <laughs> I failed my freshman year, okay? But I'm like, I'm just gonna wait for them to kick me out. I got into, my sophomore year, second year of college. I think my grade for my grade, my GPA was like 1.7 or something like that. It wasn't even a two point, you feel me? A 2.0. Cause I think you needed a 2.0 in order to keep your financial aid. So they was taking away my financial aid, everything. So I was like, I want to stay in school. What do I do for some money? I was this close to joining the army <laughs> or the air force, somebody, just so they can pay my school. <laughs> my grandma, she was like, not with George Bush. I mean, 
Yeah, now with George Bush up in there. I'm like, you might have a point. So, I ended up just working at McDonald's still. Getting a part-time job as well. Another part-time job. Thinking, I don't know what I was thinking about doing, but I was just really not wanting to leave. So, I stayed at school knowing I wasn't going to get financial aid. But the dumb part about what Wright State did, they allowed me to still stay in the dorm. So I'm over there standing in the dorm chilling. Like it's an apartment, okay? <laughs> we go to work, come home with my away from my best friend, come back from class, because we shared like a dorm together. Like I had a single, she had a single, but we shared our bathroom. So she was doing what she was supposed to do. Y'all. <sighs> what was it? The next semester came around. And I already knew, like, I'm not going to be able to stay here. <laughs> I had to pack up and go on home, okay? Later on down life, I got garnish, right? I said, who's garnishing me? Y'all. It was Rice Day. They was garnishing me for staying on campus. Because my room was like five thousand something dollars. And I had to pay that back. And I didn't know. I did not know that it was, you know what I'm saying? I had to pay that back. So if you go to school, go to college, do what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Don't be all turn up. You can stay home for that. Don't be making no bills, no college bills student loans, all that type of stuff, just for a turn-up, when you can be turning up at home, okay? My college days was amazing, but I really wish that I would've finished back then. I'm full. No, <laughs> no full. Yeah, I had to pay that back. I said, I wish I would've known that. I would set my behind on home, <laughs> way earlier. But yeah, the Rice Day days was the best days. Okay, college experience was amazing. I had plenty of more stories for my college days. I said I was full about keep eating. Why did we do that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this has been 23 minutes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I appreciate y'all tapping in on this mukbang. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. And let me know how often do you eat tacos. Alright guys, bye!